Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome back to OMSI 2 and I am very happy and rather excited because I had no idea, I completely missed it, that there was a new DLC on the horizon. Well, little did I know, they have a DLC that puts us for the first time into North America, which, if you think about it, is gonna open a whole new world of modding for OMSI 2 because now we do have um, we do have all these things like traffic rules, uh, like right on red was just programmed for this uh, modification because this is not a thing in Europe that you can turn right on red. And uh, yeah, let's let's have a look at the bus here. This is the 40 foot diesel. Um, it's uh, I don't know who the manufacturer is. It's as Chicago City bus, so. We just go with that. As you can see, it has a bike rack. Um, the license plate, TNA 2015, I wonder what that stands for, um, is hidden behind here. We can see that the unit number is 1694. And uh, it is, the livery is the Science Museum livery. And there is a ton of liveries that come with this, uh, with this uh, DLC. Here, let's look on the back. Uh, right turn in front of bus is illegal. I wish, I wish that was, would be the case, everywhere. And uh, yeah, what else? Ramp or step lowered upon request. Um, yeah. Exact fare required. Driver has no change. All right, he. I like that already because that means we don't have to worry about grumpy people that don't want to pay or are annoyed or whatnot. Um, yeah, it's, as you can see, LCD display most likely and LED lights. Um, it looks like one of the ETS buses, to be honest with you. Um, ETS being Admin and Traffic Service. And uh, I think they're probably all getting built by the same company, which is great because that means we can do a ton of different modifications um i i foresee a ton of north american maps now popping up all over the place now having said that let's get into the bus and let's get ready for our duty um i heard already from some of you guys that you had problems getting the bus going some don't know how to um i spent about 10 minutes with this bus beforehand just to get a little bit of a feel for it we don't want to go through the emergency exit by any stretch of the imagination but uh for one thing over here you can see the driver information where it's 1805 and 9691 this is always the same and um many people that don't want to use keyboard and want to use um want to use other means of turning the bus on uh, you might wonder, how the heck do I get the power going here? Well, this is pretty interesting because the power is run over the uh, over the light switch, pretty much. So you want to go from stop engine to day run. And that actually turns on your power, as you can see. The, um, no. No. But, well, well, yeah, we'll just go with that, whatever. Um, then here, of course, you have your windshield wiper panel lights, which don't work right now because we don't have, uh, we don't have the light on. And you will not be able to drive this bus anywhere unless you log in. And for that, again, you need the driver ID 1805 and you type that in up here. One eight zero oh, five, and then the code was nine six nine one. And with that, we are good to start this bus. However, multi ride bus okay in service. Mm, okay, okay. Fair enough. Only record riders. What? Only record riders not recorded by FM. Oh, okay. Fair enough. 
So as you can see, um, overall the buses, mm, the bus that we see here, seems to be a little bit more um, rugged than the buses that you might be used to from uh, from Europe, and that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense because that is really um, that is the general feel here uh, that I get compared to European technology too, which I personally like, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's so it's, it really, it gives you that, that uh, vibe that you have here with most of the machinery. Um, it's just, it's this ruggedness that I like. It's, um, it's no nonsense. Uh, and speaking of no nonsense, let's get the bus started here. And let's find a route. Now the routes that come with it is uh, the 124, 241 I guess. Starts at 11.30 on the Navy Pier, so that's where we want to go. Uh, 141, 401. Uh, no, one, 124, 401. So we want to go to K... Um, run, what did I say, 124, no, line, 124, enter, run, K401, enter, and here we are, GPS, Navy Pier. Okay. Oh, it would be nice if the GPS Navy PS our next stop and we are 27 minutes early, which is good. And here you have all your stops that are coming up. So I guess without further ado, let's get uh, rolling. Nice sounds. And now we hope that the garage is opening for us soon. Yeah, and there it goes. So I assume we are going downtown. Uh, yeah, probably going downtown. No, oh, not want to go to the garage. We are on route apparently, which is good. Now we have to find Navy Pier. I have no idea how fast we can go here. I would assume 30 miles per hour, but that is a big assumption to be honest with you. And yeah, it is It is really, it's nice to see that we have now uh, North America added. Okay, there's the garage, there's downtown. So I'm thinking downtown is our way right now. Oh, this is so nice. Having the lights on the right side of the road, meaning on the opposite side from where you are standing, because it makes it so much easier to see where you're going. And... Okay. So there we have yellow cabs. Would be nice to see the light over there. Oh yeah, and look at the look at the um, at the crosswalk or at the signals 
for pedestrians. They are very much so like I am used to, so this is really nice for me. This is a one-way street, we are in Harrison apparently right now. And don't get me wrong, I don't know Chicago at all. I mean, I've been in Chicago on a layover on Chicago International, but... Oh, Chicago O'Hara, I'm sorry. And, uh... O'Hara, O'Hara, Chicago O'Hara. Oh my goodness, I might... I just might as well stop right here. But we are going downtown, ladies and gentlemen. And I sure hope you're gonna enjoy the ride. Oh, look. Some kind of, uh... Oh. Chicago's finest. Chicago, Illinois. Very, very nice. I am... I am so happy to see this, I can't even... I cannot imagine. And 55 miles per hour is the speed limit here. Um, I do hope that the buses are allowed to go as fast as well. Um, I have to be honest with you guys, I have no idea about North American buses whatsoever. Um, I'm, I, I never even rode in one, to be honest. Um, yeah, I just always... I never had the need to. When I came to Canada, the first thing that I did was I bought me an old Suburban because I always seen them in movies and I wanted to have one and yeah. I learned my first lesson in the first two weeks in Canada and that was never buy a car from a guy whose name is Honest Earl. And Honest Earl, if you ever seen this video, man oh man oh man, you got me good. It was an old 94 Suburban, um, the long version, the, the extended version. And uh, he said, hey, you, you come from Europe, I got something for you. I said, oh yeah, lay it on me, man. And uh, yeah, he sure did. He fired that old Suburban up, I heard that V8, and my brain completely stopped working. And I was like, oh, how much do you want for it? Oh, yeah, let me give you a little bit more. So, yeah, Honest Earl, if you have to, if you have to advertise that you are honest in your name, then you're probably not very honest. But that's just my uh, take on that whole situation. Hutterite bus is passing me, or Hutterite van as we call them over here, because uh, the Hutterite colonies most of the time, have, well actually for, for it to be a real Hutterite van it would have to be white, because they like their white multivans. Or GMC van I guess. A taxi up ahead of us there is a little bit concerning to me, because it, well maybe not. Seems like he found the gas pedal after all. And as you can see, we are heading downtown right now. And... Uh, guys, I just wanted to say also, since we are riding here together, I wanted to say thank you so, so much for all the support that you guys show me, for all the amazing support that you guys show me. It is really... It is a real pleasure lately. Um, everything is just working so smoothly and uh, as you watch this video today uh, on Friday, we are in the middle of moving and uh, so many people said good luck and have fun and uh, hopefully you enjoy the move and whatnot. The moves are not enjoyable but um, it is in, in general I have to say I'm really, really overwhelmed by the support that we get from everybody. Downtown Union Station, if I only knew. Guess we are still on route. I hope that 
DPS is uh, oh, expressway ads. So this here is the old post office from what I gather. Um, the nice thing is it points out points of interest with those little marks. Um, oh boy. And now the frame rate is suffering a little bit because it has to load a lot. And keep in mind I have the game installed on my uh, SD. But that's all okay. Yeah, see, 30 miles per hour is the speed limit, so I was right on that part. What do we have here? We have Lassell train station. Yeah, I do apologize for the frame rates here. I've never been in downtown Chicago, so I guess I have to adjust the... Um, 130, 130. Hmm. But we are 124, though. Interesting. Well, we'll see, I guess. Uh, I guess I have to, to lower the traffic density a little bit here for it to be real nice and smooth. 130 East Downtown Union Station Museum Campus Navy Pier. There we go. All right. And I think we are still within. Still have some time left. I want to say. Navy Pier straight ahead. Oh yeah, there you can really see when it reloads the... Um, now when it's buffering for the... For the next tile to load. So I have to change some settings here. What? It just happened. I hope... It didn't mess up my recording because the screens just turned black. Ridiculous. Man oh man, I have to say, this is quite amazing here. Yeah. I really like that. Even though, as I said, I apologize for the screens, uh, for the frame rate suffering here but uh, for the next video that will be taken care of I just don't want to stop here right now and looking at the time we might just go to our first stop and I will take make a cut oh mm. 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 that was not legitimate at all but okay no harm, no foul, I guess. I did not pay attention at all. So, we are still going to the Navy Pier. Let's... We are 10 minutes early, so that's good. Well, that's only good as long as we are going to be there within 10 minutes, though. Oh, hello, pop-up. Yeah, that was another tile loading. And I'm not sure if I'm going to maybe turn it up a little bit so it preloads more tiles or not. What do we have here? Some pavillon. I did not... See the name. 
But if you are from uh, Chicago, then you probably know it anyway. And uh, guys, if you are indeed from Chicago or you know the area, then let me know if the representation of those uh, lines here of the 124 is faithful. Because I'm really, really interested to uh, find out if that's the case or not. Oops. So, and as you can see, we are on our way here now, still to the Navy Pier. And I think we have six minutes left, so hopefully it's not too much further. But I guess we'll find out right away. That was me. That was not the bus, that was me. See, this is a how to ride bus right there. That white one. And this is nothing that is not meant in a bad way, it's just a matter of fact that how to rides like those buses, just like they like uh, white F 350s for whatever reason. I mean, obviously, not all of them, but. Quite a few. And we get another performance hit here for whatever reason. Eleven twenty four, we have six minutes left. So I really, really hope that we don't have to go too far or too much further. Oh, yeah, right. Ha, ha, ha. As my friend Steve would say, y'all didn't see that. Green. That uh, works. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, I hope we're gonna make that in time. I have no idea how much further it is, though. No. And I can drive like that at the moment because I have no passengers in here, thankfully, so. Oh well. The only one that's getting uh, dizzy and or... Or that could get dizzy and or... Seasick or whatever is myself, so... No, should be all good. Ah, nice cup of coffee. And here we go. Garage downtown. Not for us, though, because we are going straight ahead here. Are you gonna let me over? No, you don't. Because why would you? Would be silly, wouldn't it? But guys, I am only going to our first stop. And uh, there I will end this video because it is now long enough. And uh, yeah, then I will see you guys for the start of uh, this route in the next video. Three minutes remaining. Hopefully we're gonna make that. But I mean, red lights, what, what am I supposed to do, right? I really like the details though. The details that we see here in this game are really nice.
And I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that this is actually where we have to go, which would mean we are here with two minutes, um, two minutes ahead of time. Oh yeah, wait a second, that seems to be our first stop, yes, okay, so... Route 124. Hey, hello. Hey there. Hello, how's it going? So we're gonna override. Hello. That's fairly easy. How's Hi it there. No, oh, pretty good. You see if Alright, so, well guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, uh, this first look on a new modification, on the new Chicago DLC. And uh, if you did, then please let me know, uh, hit that like button, and uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next episode when we are driving this route. And until then, I say thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and God bless you.